the word inmates, the word offender, we try to get away from those because, um, and I know you're dealing with numbers and large quantities, but I'm seeing the faces of people. And those faces and those stories are what fuels us. And that's the irony of this whole issue and why it's called medical crawlers, compassionate release. That's what we called it when I was locked up. Compassionate release, that's how we thought of it. And it's a, it's a fake term in this country because as soon as you exclude certain categories of crimes, not of people, but of crimes, then compassion, which is supposed to be something that's a human emotion that's given to anyone, is only for certain people, which defines so much of the system in this country. So in terms of the reforms and the changes, I think the main one is parole should be taken out of this. It's like in New York State, okay, so there you are, you're paralyzed, you're, you have like five months to live, and the, the survivors of the crime that happened maybe 50 years ago get to decide without knowing anything about you, because in New York State and in most places, this the cult of victims' impact statements, which only came in as f in, in the cult in the development of mass incarceration in the 90s, um, became the issue, and yet those people have no idea who the person is now. All they know is what happened when their loved one died, and so. We have a system that's based on the fury, which is, you know, is totally understandable. The rage, the, the hurt that people feel when someone has taken away their loved one. But our solution is to create more hurt and more um, revenge. And so that idea that people are happy to think of people suffering in prison is, you know, underlies this.